Welcome everyone to another episode of Ice Cream You Scream. Uh, Dead Space 2 now. We're on part 2, I believe. Uh, I think we just got the, um, engineering suit. So, we're still, I think we're like, just past the tutorial -y part of the game. Um, the game still kind of holds your hand a little bit, so hopefully uh, in this next section, uh, they're gonna kind of like let us go and be on our own. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys are looking forward to the series, to this playthrough. Uh, I'm enjoying this game so far and it's only been like 45 minutes, so I'm looking forward to seeing what the game offers. So let's just jump right into it. Uh, we'll continue. Like I said, we just got the uh, the engineering suit. I think it's called the engineering suit. I was going to call it the evacuation suit, but I think it's an engineering suit. Entering vacuum. Entering vacuum. They gave us so much time on the air. It was like 102 minutes? Can't go there. Exiting vacuum. This is the... This feels like a battle area. What the heck? Uh... What do I do? I have to kill this thing? Okay, I guess I gotta kill this thing, which is fine. I feel like my stasis goes by way too quickly. Well, good thing is, this doesn't seem super hard. Ah, uh, the drive by. Oh, my God. Jeez, that got me. Okay, the tram station is just beyond the apartment block. Hang on. I need more answers. How long have I been here? Three years. Tideman found you floating in space in the age of seven. And brought oh my god, stone. that got me Why so good. The marker you found imprinted your brain with a self-replicating signal. The longer you're awake, the more the signal spreads. It's killing you, Isaac. Tideman tried to keep it in check with memory suppressants. You said you could fix it, right? Only if you reach me in time. Tram station, get moving. Tram station, you know what that means. The end of the chapter. 
Yeah, he talks now. I, he, it's interesting. Okay, so I was talking about this in the... Uh, when I was recording yesterday, I was actually talking about it. How this reminds me of, like, the Jack and Daxter series. And how in Jack and Daxter, um... How Jack never talked. But at, like, two onwards, like, all Jack did was talk. So... I was I was saying how it it's very like reminiscent of that. Yo, I took like no damage from that fight. Yo, I'm so good at this game. Um And I was like, yeah, like when I first heard Jack's voice in Jack 2, it was a little off-putting, but over time, I was like, oh yeah, like he just sounds much better when he's talking. And this one I think like I'm not used to Isaac talking, but I kind of like that he talks, you know? Like, it's not... It doesn't seem unnatural that he's talking. Also, I need to find a workbench. Because they, they just hand you, like... They just hand you power nodes in this game, like, no one's business. But yeah, I, I kind of like his voice. It's like... It's... it's... I don't like these vent parts too much because the camera's kind of hard to control, but... Okay, a store. Oh, there's the bench. Nice. Audio log. Listen up. This is Sorensen from CEC. Cut off their limbs. It's the only way they go down. It's their limbs. That's the secret. Comms are down. We can't get a broadcast out, so tell everyone you see. Let's go to the store first. So we got like super broken uh, weapons, line gun. So the line gun was super good. I've heard the javelin is pretty good. Detonator mines, pulse rifle. We don't have the pulse rifle yet, right? Well, we have a pulse rifle, but. I want to get the. I'm gonna get the ones from the game, not the not the DLC ones that are like super good. And, oh, it was the engineering suit? Okay. So um, danger of impalement. So the javelin like is super like feels super fun, but. Let's hold off on that for now. Let's go to the bench though. I, I do want to upgrade the plasma cutter because I feel like the plasma cutter is always just going to be super good. Damage? Increases damage of telekinetic impalement by 50%. Oh, interesting. So we have four, so we could go here. Two, three, four. Or I can get two, three, four. I can get two damage and capacity. I mean, do I want to do that? Yeah, I think we do that, right? Or capacity. Capacity, I don't think, is too much to worry about right now. So let's just get more damage. Stasis might be something that I need to focus on. They have like a lot of ammo though, right? They have a lot of ammo. Oh, I'm locked in here? Oh, no, no. Oh, I'm locked in here. Okay. 
Uh, I mean, we're still in the beginning, so I think we're okay, right? Wait, that doesn't stop the thing. Save it really quick. We didn't do much, but let's just save it anyway. Oh, let me, uh. Okay. What's this? Our, oh no, I used them all! No! I messed up. I forgot about the doors. Hopefully I can come back in here. Oh, I can't shoot it through there? Oh. Wait, so they're just killing him in here? That's wild. <laughs> oh, am I going to level 4? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. How's the game audio for you guys? Is it super loud for you or is it just me? Like it sounds a little loud for me, but Cutter is so strong, or it's pretty good. It's not overpowering you. Okay, that's good. It it's really loud for me. That's why I was wondering if it was really loud for you guys. But yeah, I feel like uh, stasis. I feel like they. Uh... They nerfed stasis in this game. I feel like you use two and then like, you're done, you need to refill. Whereas I feel like in the first one, you could use stasis like three or four times before you had to refill.
Also, I guess now that, like, telekinesis is a little bit stronger, it feels like, that I'm kind of more inclined to use it. Oh, that one must have been a new one, because I don't remember seeing him there before. Well, not too bad. I like it. like something's in there. Uh-oh. Yo, the impalement thing is so good in this game. I like I like the impalement stuff. Okay. I think I got everything. I can only go there, right? I have a ton of med packs. This is text log. Titan, P Titan Part One: Unified Spacefaring Guild History Series. Titan Station: Conquering a Moon, Part One of Two. Planet cracking first became feasible in the decades following the discovery of the United Field Theory, which allowed us to control the gravitron in the same manner we were accustomed to controlling the electron. With the advent of large-scale applications of graviton control, it became clear to the mining consortiums 
that they had a new tool at hand. Shock point drives were in their infancy, so extrasolar mining was out of the question, and the dangers of planet cracking were still unknown. Saturn's moon Titan was selected as the site of the first moon harvest, as it was known back then. Saturn was as far from Earth as the consortiums were willing to work and still have reasonable access to timely supplies and support. Okay, so I feel like I probably missed out on that that power lock. Oh, the thing. There are necromorphs everywhere. Is the entire sprawl infected? How this happened? The marker was destroyed, Dana. I destroyed it. You destroyed a marker, Isaac. Tyvon built another one. On this station? Why? He's built it's another one? Technology. Tyvon wants that power. Get to the tram. It'll take you to the casino's power permanently. Dana? Damn it. This feels really like Bioshock. You know how, like, how you have that voice in your radio who's like, hey, I'm on your side? It's exactly what this feels like. This has... Oops. This has Bioshock, uh... This has Bioshock mannerisms, like, all over it. Yeah, I, I'm waiting for her to say, like, a phrase over and over and just be like, that's it. That's the phrase that I respond to. Yo, who's... who is crying? Agent activated. Yeah, that's what it feels like. Like this. Like Isaac already has like PTSD, right? He's already getting like, like, he's already been experimented on, I think, and stuff. So it's like, there's no way like this isn't like Bioshock, you know? Flame fuel? I don't need flame fuel. Right? Do I have so much? What is this? Force energy? Line racks? Oh, I have so much health. Oh my god. Man. They just give you so much health in this game. That's, I'm not gonna complain about. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not gonna complain that they're giving me a lot of health. But they've given me a lot of health. As I have. Like, I may as well just get. I may as well use it just so I can get more. Oh, not something I can crush. You just see dead bodies on the ground, you just gotta shoot stuff at them. Wait, where do I go?
Okay, that wasn't too bad. Oh, are we at the trams? Yeah, see, look, he's got PTSD. Train on fire. I feel like... Alive? Oh, you're dead. I think I hit everything, right? Well, so I can use the tram now, right? Okay, so it looks like I just go over here. Health pack, yep. I'm gonna be honest, I may as well just drop this, right? Oh, I thought it was... I don't know why I thought it came alive when I stomped on it.
Oh, that's pretty cool. I've seen this part. This is a. Uh... Can I turn all the way? No. Wait, I've played this. This is a. Uh... This is Last of Us. That was that was that was intense. Yeah, I need a new route. What happened? I thought we lost you. Unscheduled stop. Where am I? How did you end up there? Hang on. This won't be the most pleasant route, but it'll get you to the Cassini Towers residential sector. Damn it! I'm in hyper signal again. Who's moving? Okay. The very important for the market. Secret shells. I'll contact you soon. This was a this was a wild action so much going on oh power node oh and i can't even go back to the can't even go back to that door huh because it's gone now thanks oh i probably could have used some spikes instead of ammo huh guess it's okay doesn't really matter Oh. Oh wait, I'm drunk. Okay, so I'm I'm doing that. I'm I for sure I think want to get the pulse rifle. So much ammo here. Like half my inventory feels like it's just oh, which isn't true, but like, I don't think I'll need these. I don't think I'm gonna get those guns. Okay. What's that? Like I said, I don't really want to get the DLC weapons because I feel like they're super strong, but at the same time, I kind of want to get the DLC weapons. Uh, I'm going to drop this. 
And I think I'm gonna drop that. I do want to get the javelin, I think. I should have gotten the javelin when, uh... I probably should have gone to Javelin when uh, I had the chance. Line racks. I think we'll... Oh, credits. I need to get to a store, though. I do want to get the Pulse Rifle. But yeah, I kind of feel like they're... They're slightly holding your hand in this one. Um... I don't know if playing on hard would have made a difference, but they're giving me a lot of ammo. They're giving me a lot of. They're giving me a lot of health. Which I'm not used to. I'm not used to having this much health. I hear them. Ah, yes, throwing bodies. Oh, I picked up Force Energy by accident. I think if there was a store nearby, I wouldn't mind, uh... Grabbing something new. I got two things already. Um... Okay, so when I was walking this way, the shadow looked like it was a body. And I was like, oh no, the body's just there. Um... Yeah, if there was like a store nearby, I would pick up all that ammo so I could sell it. But since there's not really a store nearby, at least not yet, there might be one in here. It looks like there would be a store in here, but I don't know if there actually is. money in here. I know it looks like- oh wait, I know what part this is. This is the part with the kids. I'm not gonna die, but... All of them, too, huh? I think you're still alive. We can't talk. I think they're tracking our signals. Are the memories coming back? They're coming back to me. The good ones. And the bad ones. The more I remember, the more my head hurts. I keep seeing the symbols. The symbols, too, Isaac. In him, they keep seeing his face. Shit. His face? Who's his? Who's he? Whose face is he seeing? Okay, that was creepy. It's, I'd I'd prefer the babies. Another save state. Oh, a store. Nice. Cool, just what I was looking for. 
cool. So how much money do we have? Okay, well first, let's sell uh, the gold thing. Sell the rivet bolts. And the force energy. And I think that's all we sell. We have so much ammo. Let me go pick up the ammo from the rest of this area so I could sell it. I didn't know there was a... You know what's funny? I said there was like probably going to be a store in this area and I didn't pick up the ammo thinking there wasn't going to be a store in this area, so... Alright. We get the pulse rifle, right? We have thirty-three thousand. That's so much. And almost a hundred ammo. We have this. We have javelin spears. All right. That's fine. Okay. So, perfect gun. Oh, where's the where's the new stuff? I don't know where the rip, uh, where the pulse rifle is. Oh, is this it? Oh. Okay, military grade assault rifle with a high rate of fire. Fully automatic barrage of energy packets. So if I have the agility one, which is free, uh, we have minus 5% reload speed and 5% fire rate, I think. And in this one, we have secondary damage plus 5% and reload speed 10%. Um... Maybe this one? I don't know if I really need the speed, but let's get the Earth Gov post pulse rifle, I guess. Let's get the ja also let's get the javelin gun. I don't know where the basic javelin gun is. This one, right? Okay, so javelin gun, uh, secondary fire damage, 10%, reload speed, minus 5%, primary fire damage, 10%, reload speed, five. And I feel like we get this one, right? Because that's probably the one we want. It's just an impalement, right? It's like we spent no money. Press one, two, three, four. Oh, wait. I want to switch my weapon, so how do I do that? Uh, that two? Okay, I for sure want to move this then. I don't... Oh, wasn't I gonna get a pulse rifle? I'm just gonna get a pulse rifle. I also need to get ammo for the javelin. I don't think javelin ammo isn't like really expensive, so. Right? 400?
think I want... I don't know how fast the reload speed already is for the pulse rifle, but let's get this one. And then we'll buy a bunch of pulse rounds. How much are they? A thousand each? Yeah, I think we're good. Four health, four of these, two of those. I think we're good. Thank you, have a nice day. And then we'll put... This on three. Oh. Wait. Who is this? Three is that. Why is that three? Doesn't make sense. Well, let's save it. I'm getting a prompt for something, it feels like. Oh. Detonator mines. That's super weird. I didn't even know we had them. Let's sell them, though. I don't need them. I might just roll... Roll with this... These three guns. Like I said, I wasn't going to use the DLC guns, and here I am using the DLC guns to save money. Ooh. I didn't even know the thing said objective on it. That's cool. You know, it's funny. I'm going to buy all these guns, but then still just... Deck out the plasma cutter. Hey Dana, there's this crazy guy that keeps contacting me. I saw him back at the hospital. Nolan Strauss. He was a patient in the project, just like you. Yeah? Well, why was he there? What does he want? He's a psychopath, Isaac. Stay clear of him. He murdered his own wife and child. Okay, I'll be careful. Looks like a mall, and I don't like it. You'll be going to a nightclub. Let's go. Part two of two. A large colony was established on Titan to study the moon's every seismic detail and prepare for its disassembly. As the operation got underway. The orbital platforms that assisted with the work became the prototypes for the planet crackers that would soon follow. Titan was successfully cracked and harvested, only slightly behind schedule. It was a major boost for the then beleaguered population on Earth, who believed their extinction from lack of resources was imminent. Titan's harvest was halted before the entire moon was disassembled, leaving the small shard where the original colony had started. From here, the station grew, grew in leaps and bounds as the new era of planet cracking got, oh, sorry, got underway, serving as both a critical research outpost and with the advent of shock point drives, a way station for all planet cracking missions were going forward. It's now whimsically known as the Sprawl, for having done just that over the many years of its operation. Run old stylings. Okay. Three perfect sleep levitations. This for sure feels like, uh. Bioshock now, like the mall, that mall area. Um, oh, I forgot what the name of the. Oh, that's the, that's the thing. Attention. 
Attention. This is Director Tideman. Um, Nep I think it's called Neptune's Bounty, maybe? It was the mall in Bioshock. That's what this place feels like. Like, 100% it feels like that. Okay, so I guess we're going this way. Towards the, uh... Another text log? Lore! Altman's Footsteps, a publication of the followers of Michael Altman. Oh, Altman was the... I think the founder of the... The founder of the, um... What is it? The Unilist? Whatever it's called? We, the children of the Marker, grow tired of the oppressive, thinly veiled attacks from EarthGov on our rights to worship as we please. Reduce hours of operation for the church, Fire marshal restrictions on the size of revival events. Permits needed to distribute literature. These are all poorly concealed attempts to quash the truth. Our truth. And they will not succeed. The blasphemous, short-sighted, reckless, destructive, and hopeless path that EarthGov had, has on us is a dead end. One that only Unitology has the answer to. Unitologists. There we go. That's what it was. Altman has foreseen it, and we are blessed to execute it. Prepare yourselves, brothers and sisters. Convergence is nigh. I'm gonna be honest, I can't tell if, uh... I can't tell if this symbol is Dana, actually here. I thought here. you were rallying me to residential. This looks like a Unitology recruitment center. Am I still on track? Yes. There's an old maintenance access point oh, in yeah, it's gone, never through mind. the waste disposal system and into the Cassini Towers. Stay sharp. I was about to be like... I'm not sure if these are actually here, or if this is just in Isaac's mind, but if this is the Unitology, like, recruitment center, then yeah, this is for sure them, since that's all they are. And more lore? Game, please. Pine Station Church of Unitology Recruiting Report. Harry Gibbo, vested member, high status, fully paid. Recruiting has slowed markedly in the last few weeks. This is surely due to EarthGov's recent slander campaign, painting us as carpetbaggers and insurrectionists in the press. Regions from the churches at Venus Wayport and the Hello Pause Observer are shocking in later this week to strategize a response. Expect additional budget to be allocated to public relations and media to cut off to combat this trend. Also, the CEC layoffs continue to negatively affect recruiting targets, who are down almost 30% year on year. Jibbo out. Oh, they just disappear. <laughs> Stomping kids for money. Oh, I'm stupid. I could have used my uh, pulse rifle, huh? 
Okay, that's probably where I need to go, right? So let's look over here real quick. Credits, I like. Pulse rounds, I like. Oh shit! Okay. Uh, I learned not to hit everything I see. <laughs> okay. I wonder if there was a way to not die there, but... Oh, do I gotta do this again? Well, if we're gonna do this again... Oh, he kicked oh, what the heck? <laughs> Ow. I think it kicked me when I was coming out of the... When it was coming out of the... The thing. I don't think there's anything in here, right? <gasps> oh, did I do it again? Oh wait, I'm an idiot. I did it again. I was... Part of me was like, okay, maybe if I just shoot it when I'm not around... All right, I want to try something. I want to try shooting that when they come. Oh, it worked. Okay. Yo, I'm so good. I don't get the ammo from them, but... Alright, so... Looks like there's multiple ways to do this. Uh... Looks like shooting the door out, so... Oh no, oh no! I don't wanna... No, I don't... No, get out of here. Looks like shooting the door open gets rid of... Gets rid of the ammo drops from it. From those enemies. It just clears them out more. Okay. Interesting. Oh, but it's closed now, so... Okay, so I guess it's a one-time thing. Okay. Thing. <sighs> Alright, well, let's continue. So, I did it three times. There was a bunch of ways to do it. It looks like once you shoot the glass out, you can shoot the thing. Should I go crazy? I think it is. Maybe not.
you're telling me you gave me spikes and no fight was gonna happen? There's no way. All that thing is told me is that hey remember you can pull the stuff back out there's so much going on here I don't want to do this um, I kind of want to go to the bench there's no store here, huh? There's a bench though, so... I think we still use a plasma cutter, right? The plasma cutter's still broken. I got two. What is this? Special? Sets the target on fire when shot? That's wild. Uh, let's do... Actually, let's see what the other options are. Cast me. All fire, all fire. Yeah, I think we just go... Oh, let's see what's gone over here. All fire. I feel like that's really good. and I feel like these two are really good, but... Let's go with the, um, plasma cutter. Because I think that gun is still super broken, so... And I also have, like, increased gun things, so... Oh, we're at 12 now? Cool. So we're gonna save it really quick. Oh, we're on chapter 3? What the heck? Alright guys, I'm going to end the video here. Uh, I hope you guys... Let me do this so it's not as loud. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. I'm really enjoying this game. It's much more action-packed than the first one, it feels like. A little less on the scares, but a little bit more on the, um, the action and the shooter, which I think is a good change of pace. So, um... Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. If you guys are liking the series, uh, comment below. If you've played it and liked it, let me know. Let me know what your favorite gun was in this. I'm really liking the plasma cutter still, but the pulse rifle seems really good. And I've seen the javelin. The javelin looks really fun. So, all right, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video, and have a good one. All right. 